This is a self-programmable storage system. That means whatever you put into it, it will sort it all by itself without any input from you. You don't have to go in and manually do anything. And if you want to reset it, you can reset it with the push of a button. Let me show you how it works. If I just grab a few random blocks and come over here and dump them into here, and just dump them all. It will sort them all through the system and put them into the chest that they belong. But you'll notice we haven't set any to uh, belong to these particular blocks that we chose. For example, coal ore or gold ore. But if we throw one in here, then it will find a chest for it and just put it in the chest. You can see I've already got a few and I've labeled them here. And uh, it stops after the hoppers. The next one up is uh, strip birch logs. And it does this all by itself without any input from you. But let's say that we actually don't want this one to be gold ore. Let's say we want it to be, let's grab another block, um, cooked chicken. Let's just push the button and this will reset this to be for, well, to be blank. And then to reprogram it, we just throw the chicken in there and we'll find the first available slot, which in this case is this one that had gold ore in it. Uh, one more should come out. Yeah right before the chicken comes through, there is that. And then if you label it with item frames, you'll be able to find whatever you need very easily. So to build this, you'll need six chests, seven hoppers, 15 stones, two and a half redstone repeaters, three redstone torches, two redstone dusts, a redstone comparator, a button, a wooden button, doesn't matter what kind of wood, so long as it's a wooden button, and 18 filter items per item that you want to sort. You'll also need a footprint, uh, well, footprint. You need a space of 10 by 7 blocks to build this in and extending as far that way as you want items to sort. So how do we build this? First off, you need an input. Um, it can be as simple as a chest on top of a hopper. Just use that. And then have stairs going down to your storage system. Or you can have something fancy like I did over there with the item elevator. It's totally up to you. Just we need items falling into these hoppers. This will not work with an item, like a water item transport thing where you uh, slide the items on ice. So make sure you have a long train of hoppers coming from your uh, input. And make sure they're all pointing in the same direction. This will have items flow through them. And now we're gonna have other hoppers underneath them to pull things out because a hopper will pull an item out before this hopper gets a chance to pass its item on to this one. So if we want to sort six items, say, we'll place six solid blocks right here. And then going into these solid blocks, we will put one, two, three, four, five, six uh, hoppers, or one hopper for each item you want to sort. Now from these blocks right here, you're going to go one, two, three out, and then come down one, two, three. And then this block right here we'll want to keep, but the rest of these you can just get rid of. We're going to want as many blocks in a row right here as we have items to sort. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And then right here will be your floor, so you can just put whatever you want down here. Just build this out like whatever you were planning to build on the floor of this system. And uh, from here, you will want chests stacked three high. And since 1.13, we can put chests right next to each other, which is awesome. Now make all of these double chests in this direction. No, not, not you. In this direction, out this way, away from your floor. And now we're going to put hoppers into each of these chests, like so. And from this one, this hopper right here, we're going to do one, two more hoppers back. One, two more. Now, on this block right here, we will put our buttons. We will put a button on each of these blocks, four, five, six. And on the other side of this block, we will put a torch. So when you push this button, 
the torch will turn off uh, for a few takes and then it will turn back on. Now, right here, we want three blocks coming out in the end just so that it looks kind of like this. And then we'll stack two blocks up like that. And from each of these torches, we will put repeater, dust, repeater, dust, repeater, dust. And then coming out of each of these repeaters, let's put a dust. And coming out of each dust, let's put a repeater. So one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and then dust in those places. So this makes it so that these lines will not cross with each other. And if you push a button, it turns off one line and only one line. If I push a middle button, you can see only that one goes off. The ones on either side don't. Now we're going to put um, torches on here and they should turn off. So now that you have your row of inactive uh, fire some torches here, just put blocks on top of them like so. And on these blocks we're going to put yet another set of torches and these ones should remain active because there's nothing powering them. So um, now on this side we are also going to put a row of blocks coming out. So from the side it should look like this. Now we're going to put redstone repeaters facing this way into these um, torches. And then what we're building right now is basically the impulse SV sorting system. Now you're going to want to put a, another row of blocks here. And then yet yeah, another set of blocks on top of these repeaters. Make sure not to um, click them. You want them all to be set to one tick. Every repeater in this design is set to one tick. And then on top of these, get another row of blocks. Now coming out of these hoppers right here, we're going to want comparators. So just put six comparators in the line right there. And coming out of these comparators, two redstone dust. And they'll all kind of tangle up like each other, like you see here. That's fine. It won't, they won't mess with each other. The strongest signal strength we'll ever get out of these will be two if we do everything right. And because we're man we don't have to manually reset this or reprogram this, the likelihood of us messing this up is a lot smaller than the normal impulse SV sorting system. So this comparator is right now reading what is inside of here. So if I put something in here, let's just put some sandstone, you'll see that it's reading that and it's gonna put out an output. And now we're gonna need to find our filter item, which in this case is the uh, green dye. Let me just grab some of this. This can be any item that stacks to uh, 64. So the thing is you'll probably have several stacks of this in your inventory when you're building this. Here's an easy trick. Just pick one up and then just drag it across four slots so there's 16 in each. And now pick up one of these 16 and drag it across here so that there's four in each. And now we're going to put one, two more in the last one. Now if we were to put five more items into here, this comparator would output a signal strength of 2, which would be enough to let items through, and it'll let items from this slot first, and then these slots. So whatever gets put into this slot will be what goes down in here. And because this is the very first chest, you're starting with the very first chest from your input, what you're going to put in here is 1, 2, 3, 4 of your filter items. Also, you're going to come down here and take off the button that you put down there earlier. Only for the very first chest after this. In this way, if we ever mess up and put some green dye or whatever our filter item is into this system, it'll come up to here and be taken out into the very first uh, hopper, and then it won't continue through our sorting system and mess up, up the other stuff. It's a very simple fix, and I don't know why I've actually never seen anyone do this. I've done this on the AllCraft server, and um, it helps a lot. I don't have to worry about accidentally putting leftover filter items in there, because I basically always use the same filter item. Now, for the next one, take up another, pick another stack of 16, do the same thing, but leave this one blank. And you're going to do this all the way down. Now, to program this, all you need to do 
is get whatever block you want to sort and put at least six. One, two, three, four, five, six. At least six of the items that you want sorted into this chest. And what you should do is this one, this one should not have anything. This one should only be filters. Like if you accidentally, if you're shift clicking a bunch of stuff and you accidentally shift click a bunch of your filter in there, that's fine. It'll come out right here. You can grab it later or just leave it there. But the stone, this next one is set to stone. And now if you ever put any other stone into this sorting system, it will come into this chest. Until all three of these chests are full and then we'll find the next available empty one. So I would suggest finding some um, item frames and just putting some item frames down along here with um, whatever item you happen to be putting into the system. And then just leave the rest of them blank until you fill up all of these. And that's literally it. Now you're done. You have a storage system that will take whatever you put in it and sort it itself. And if you want to um, reset something to something else, then just push the button and it'll take out the um, stone or whatever it was that this was filtering out of the system and then put whatever you want else to sort into the next one. Whatever you wanted to actually have in here. So we're here doing item frames, I guess. And just take out all that stone. There you go. I have an item frame right here that I can put in this item frame. Also, you might like want to know when it's full, so I would suggest at the end, like and you just have the hoppers go a little bit past, have an end thing here, and then put a uh, comparator with just a lamp. On the end so if you ever fill up your stuff and items get all the way over here then this lamp will light up and then you'll know oh I need to make more storage uh, two things don't put non stackable items in this it won't work obviously because they don't stack also don't put items that only stack to 16 in there like snowballs or ender pearls this design should work for 1.14 and 1.15 and 1.13. So 1.13 and up, I don't know anything past 1.15.1. I don't see any reason why it would stop working. It's very, very basic redstone. And I think that I didn't actually explain how the button works. So what this button's really doing when I push it is it's overriding the uh, Impulse SV storage system by just powering this torch. So when we push the button, this depowers, which powers that torch, which in turn depowers that one. And then it does that for a period of four ticks, which lets four items come through here and empty into the chest. And these are the same four items that happen right here. Or no, don't no, right here. Yeah, don't don't push the button. That's why you want to take off the button. You don't want to reset your filter item because it'll mess things up. Your filter item has to be the very first chest. So there you go, now you have a self-programmable, resettable storage system, and uh, it's not that difficult to make. It's a little more resource intensive than the uh, average storage system, just because it's like, I think it's like one or two extra hoppers, but that ends up being a lot when you're sorting through hundreds of items, trust me. But in my opinion, it's totally worth it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and like the video if you found it helpful, and I'll see y'all next time. God bless.